Welcome back. Nearly 600 Tyson food workers just tested positive for coronavirus at a chicken processing plant in North Carolina. Here in Indiana, the Tyson plant in Logansport is back up and it's running now. It was shut down for two weeks after about 900 employees there tested positive for the virus. And it's not the only Tyson plant that has had to temporarily close as the company takes precautions to stop the spread, but not all of them have. Joining me live is Hector Gonzalez. He's senior vice president of Tyson Foods to talk more about this. Um, Hector, good morning to you. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much. I know so many people have a lot of questions and we know that, you know, a lot of businesses that they need to stay open. We, we need to eat. <laughs> we, we know that you guys are trying to do um, your part to keep your, your workers safe. What are you guys doing? Let's start there with just as workers really have to be there for the president's order. What are you doing to make them safe? Yeah, well, as you said, the most important thing is keeping our team members safe. And so Tyson's top priority remains the health and safety of our team members, their families, and the communities where we live and work. So the only way that we can operate our business is to ensure that our team members feel safe and protected while they're at work, which is why we have implemented a host of safeguards and guidelines that not just meet, but in some cases exceed the guidance that has been issued by the CDC and OSHA. We're seeing them where in the video they have shields on, um, their masks, they have plexiglass now um, set up. I understand that you also have mobile health clinics. Is that new too, or have you guys always had health clinics around? No, the transformation you are seeing, uh, most of that work is new. Now, with respect to the clinicians, we do have uh, nurses in most of our facilities, but the engagement with Matrix Medical is a new engagement aimed at ensuring that we can uh, <clears throat> test our team members, which is part of our solution in ensuring that we keep team members safe. And it's also meant to provide educational assistance in helping our team members understand how they can avoid coming in contact with this virus, not just by way of how they behave at work, but at home, and then you're also seeing a number of social distancing measures that have been put in place to build barriers between team members who might not be able to be exactly six feet away. Uh, but we have a number of changes in our plants that are part of this transformation that is meant to ensure the safety and health of our team members and their families. Yeah, we've been talking a lot here um, about the you know supply. Do you think that it's stable right now, especially when we're considering poultry and meat? I think it's getting better. I think it uh, there's an ample food supply. Uh, I, I think that uh, there might be differences in what consumers see when they go to their local stores, but we have 100,000 team members across the country at more than 400 sites that are committed and are making a heroic effort to continue to produce the products that will feed families across America. And it's, it, it is an extraordinary uh, effort on behalf of our team members who at this time I'd like to send a very heartfelt thank you to uh, because they are the true heroes during this very difficult time. Hector Gonzalez, we sure do appreciate it. Senior Vice President with Tyson Foods. I would not want your job, I can tell you that right now. So uh, we appreciate um, everybody working to uh, feed us, I can tell you that. Thank you so much. Right?